Hey guys, I am Nishan and welcome to Cybernetico. So in this video, let's learn how to cache an API in React. So basically I am calling an API here from this where this website and I am storing the data in the state called data state and we are mapping and all. If the API is loading, we will see the loading text and if it is loaded, we will see the data. Now let me make or let me just refresh the page first. You will see what I mean. You will see the loading text for a moment and then it disappears and then the data is coming. But let's make the network request a little bit slower. So we will do it like this. How do we do this? Slow 3G. Now refresh the page. It's refreshing. And we will see the loading text for some time and then the actual data that we need. Then if we refresh again or let's say we change some pages, this API call will be same. It will call the API once more. So to avoid that, let's use this React query library to cache the API calls. First of all, we will install two libraries there, which is React router and this React query. So add this. Wait a second this and react query so this react router will be used to navigate between pages and this query react query will be used to like cache our api call fetch and cache so is this it the command which is npmi react query let me check where is the command installation yes it's the same press enter it will install this both libraries in our React app and let's wait for it. So they have been installed and setup is also done. Setup is nothing but two routes, normal call page and cache call page. If we go to the cache call, we will see the cache call text. If we go to the normal call, we will see the loading text and the data after that. Go to cache call again, come to normal call and it's loading again. That's why we are going to cache this API so that if the data is the same, it will not load again. It will get it from the cache. And for this, we are going to use React Query here, this library. So let's do it. To set up this React Query in our React app, we need to import a thing called or two things called React Query Client Provider and just the React Query Client. So import this from React Query. We will say uh, query client and query client provider. Then we need to wrap this div into this query client provider. Like this div and this will take a key called client and we have to pass this instance of this client. So let's create an instance. To create an instance, we can just say let query client ent equals to let's say query client and then pass it here. Save and our app will load, but it's not loading because I don't know because why because I have missed one keyword here, which is called new. That's how we create an instance. So now save it and it will be fine. So it's done the basic setup of React Query. Now we have to call this API again in cached call. So let's do it. And in the component, let's import a thing called use query from React Query. So we can say import from react query we will use something called what i said just right now use use query like this so it will be a function that we need so we have imported it and then we have to do this so copy this use query and here let me create the use query function like this so it takes a query a key so the key could be anything you want, but let me make it as 
data or yes data then second thing it takes wait a second yes data one parenthesis we need then second thing it takes is a callback function like this and in this callback function we will do the api call so this api call is here so let me get this and paste it save it and it's doing all the same all the things that it was doing before in the normal call.js now let's create the states here whatever we had in the normal call data and loading states so copy it and paste it here save now import the state or the use state hook from react because we need to import it like this fine the next thing we need is to do is we have to map this api from this data just like we did in the normal call so we can just copy and paste it here after the cached call and save so instead of the data i mean instead of this normal api call in this use effect hook we are calling it in the use query hook from react query also let me set up this loading text so if loading is true i will see loading or else we will see the result that's fine but as of right now the both pages are same the api calls click cached call we will see loading click normal call we will still see the loading text even if the data is not changing from this api so what we have to do is to fix this or to manage this remove this then block and return this whole thing using return keyword then we will cache it in a response or an, in a variable so say const let's say result equals to this and we don't need this two as well because we will structure it from this result directly so if we console this result we will get sorry not data result we will get the loading and the cached i mean the loading in the data so just comment this and loading is not defined comment this as well now open the console and let's check we are seeing all these things from this query which is data that we need we need the error if we have an error we will get the error here we can destructure it from this result is fetched it is true because data has been fetched it is error is error because no errors we have is fetched after mount yes is fetching false it means if the data is still fetching this will be true is loading error and so we have all of these things so we need loading so let me structure the data and loading from this result so we can say data and loading not loading is loading yes because it's false and if we comment or bring it back make the loading as is loading and bring back this thing we can have result is not defined okay result is not defined yes this one now it will work fine we will have the cached call properly called so now let's start from the start refresh the page once the cached call is here click normal call we will see the loading text now click cached call again we will not see the loading text because the data is not changing it will simply call the api i mean not call the api it will cache the api that it already did and it's displaying as the results we need to remove the state use state hook save and click normal call we will see loading text click cached call we will not see the loading text so now let me make it a little bit slower i mean the network make it as okay it's much slower okay now clear the console or clear the network tab now click cached call sorry not click the normal call loading is here it's loading and now the data is here but if we click cached call we will not see loading because it has been cached see directly getting the results without loading text or loading h1 
So that's how we catch an API in React using this React query.